Hello, and welcome to Google Developers Live. I'm Paul Saxman, a developer advocate at Google, and I work with the Google Maps APIs. Like most people, I love well-designed maps as much as I like great-looking websites. So in this show, I'm going to share some additional resources and techniques for creating and using custom map styles with the Google Maps JavaScript API. We've already shared a few ideas and a bit of information about map styling in a previous video, specifically the one referenced in the video description below. After you're done here, be sure to watch this show for some additional map styling techniques. One excellent resource, however, that didn't exist when this video was recorded is Snazzy Maps. Snazzy Maps is a community-driven repository of map styles for the Google Maps JavaScript API. The site contains a number of high-quality, beautiful, and useful map styles. So if, for example, uh, you're looking for a subtle, light, pastel style for your own map on your own website, uh, Snazzy Maps is a great resource for styles and inspiration. That's not to say that the uh, default roadmap style for the Google Maps API is hard to look at, uh, especially since the, the recent visual refresh. However, there are a number of reasons why you should consider adding a bit of custom style to your own map. For example, uh, map styling allows you to create a map that matches your website's brand and style. Uh, you can see that the designers of the Rough Guides website uh, chose to match the map style to their company logo. Uh, also, if you have a specific purpose for the map, such as showing roads and geography for context, but not labels or the default POIs, uh, you can use map styling to simplify, hide, or highlight specific map features. Uh, this is how the beautiful and fun Abby Patinsky website uses map styling. And finally, a big reason that data geeks and analysts uh, like myself and our friends at CarterDB uh, use map styling is for overlaying their own data on a map. A subdued, subdued or simplified map style allows you to keep the user focused on your data to ensure that they're not too distracted by the default map features. Back to snazzy maps. Uh, when choosing a style for your map, it's important to check the style at it, the zoom levels and geographic regions that you intend to support on your own website. Uh, Snazzy Maps allows you to do this um, by synchronizing the zoom of all the maps in the list. Um, and they're even uh, synchronized if you page to the next uh, page, or you go to the next page. Um, and likewise, uh, they're also synchronized if you go to a particular style. Uh, this site was designed as a resource for both developers and designers. Um, so uh, you're not only able to browse the Snazzy Maps, uh, you can also find code to include in your own website, which is below on the details page. If you're already using the, the Maps JavaScript API and you want to use one of the styles from Snazzy Maps, all you need to do is use the style code here. Uh, this is in the JavaScript style array. Uh, when you create um, a map options object, uh, you can actually apply the style uh, like we see in this code here. Uh, if you don't already have a map um, in your application, uh, you can use this JavaScript code here. Um, all you do is you import it in, put it in your style tag. Um, you likewise have to make sure that you've uh, bootstrapped the JavaScript API, um, all documented on our website, and I'll put the link below. But finally, uh, if you don't have a map or an existing web page, uh, you can download a self-contained sample HTML file with a working styled map. Uh, that's this link here. I'm going to download some code, keep that guy, and you can see if I uh, run it, I actually have the exact same map as we saw before. Well, let's take a look at the code. Um, one thing that you're going to want to keep in mind if you use this code is that you're going to have to uh, uh, eventually actually put in your, your Google Maps API key. Um, that's documented very well right here. And uh, likewise, you know, you'll see a lot of documentation in this code. Um, so if you actually want to style or, or tweak this implementation, um, it's, it's very well documented and very easy to do. Let's go back to Snazzy Maps. So. Um, the styles on the site are licensed under Creative Commons share alike. Uh, that's over here, um, which means that you're free to use um, these styles even for commercial purposes. However, be sure to provide attribution and share any derivative styles, uh, pre preferably on Snazzy Maps. To contribute a style back to Snazzy Maps, uh, you'll need to fill out this form all the way up here. Um, you can use uh, one of these tools listed here, like the Style Maps API Wizard, the, the custom Google Maps Style Tool, or Google Maps Colorizer to actually create your own style. Um, I covered the Style Maps Wizard in a previous show, um, the one that I mentioned earlier. So if you're interested in creating your own style, definitely check out that show. 
And uh, speaking about attribution, uh, the Snazzy Maps uh, site was developed by Adam Krog at Atomist. And uh, so be sure to follow Atmist on Twitter, uh, Facebook, and Google+. All the links are down here um, for updates on the site or to give them a plus one for building such an excellent web app. Uh, they definitely deserve it. This is a really cool tool, a really great resource for developers. Um, Adam and the Atmist team are planning to add more features to the site, including a style designer, accounts, and favorites. Um, if you have ideas that you want to share with Adam and the company uh, for features for the site, uh, just click on the ever-present feedback button uh, here on the left. Uh, you can see it's already pre-populated. You can vote and uh, provide your own uh, feedback as well. If you do create your own Snazzy Map style, also be sure to let the Google Maps API team know. Uh, you can reach us on Google Plus and Twitter. And with that, uh, thanks for watching, and happy map styling. Have fun.